I don't know about you, but it definitely feels like everyone around me is looking for a job. Now, just to be clear, I love my job. I love teaching you all Airtable, so I'm not looking for one, but maybe you are. So in this video, we're gonna go through how to organize and automate your job search so you can spend more time trying to find that perfect job and less time trying to track all the different details and worrying about whether you're on top of all the jobs you've already applied to. So I'm gonna jump into the template in just a moment and I'm gonna show you how it can help you keep organized, track all the important details around all the jobs you want to apply to, those you have, any upcoming interviews, really so you know all of your information is in one place and easily organized. And then I'm gonna show you how to use the Web Clipper app so you can easily add new jobs you're interested in into your pipeline. That way you can just focus going through jobs, adding those you're interested in, and then going about applying them from your template. And then I'll show you how you can use automations to send yourself important reminders. Maybe every day you want a, a list of all the jobs that are still waiting for that final application, maybe upcoming interviews and things like that. So we'll create automations so you know that you're always on top of all the information that matters to you. If you're new to automate all the things, this is a channel where I help you work smarter, not harder, using no-code tools like Airtable, Zapier, Webflow, and others. If you're into that kind of thing, I do encourage you to like and subscribe. I release videos every week. I even stream every week, Wednesdays at 1 p.m. on this channel. So if you wanna be notified when I go live, do go ahead and subscribe. So with that, let's jump into the template and get an overview of how it can help you get organized and automate your job search. Okay, so let's see how we can organize our job search in Airtable. And actually, I'm gonna start outside of Airtable. I'm gonna imagine I want to apply to this customer success manager role at Airtable. And let's kind of see all the details we need to keep track of. So if I click on it, obviously I wanna keep track of the title, right? This customer success manager. I wanna remember that I'm applying at Airtable that this is based in Austin. And then if I look at the application, these kind of information that's specific to this job role, you know, first name, last name, email, phone won't change, but CV and cover letter, that's probably gonna be specific to the role. So I wanna remember which CV I sent, which cover letter I sent. And that pretty much sums up what information I wanna keep track for this position, but also for every other position I'm applying to. So in Airtable, what's great is I can create a system that matches that information. Really, so keep track of the information that I need specifically for my job search. So here in Airtable, we've got two different tables. So tables are just where you organize information of the same type. So I've got one table, which is jobs, right? And that's gonna keep all those details that I just talked about, title, uh, uh, status, where it is in our pipeline, link, things like that. And then companies are all the different companies I've applied to. So you can see I've got quite a few here. So let's imagine we're gonna go ahead and add that job into our base, into our table, so we can keep track of where it is, all the information that's specific to that role. So I'm gonna to go to add a new record. Every record is a job I'm either thinking of applying to or have applied to how to differentiate where each job is in our pipeline and our status. I've got this status field. So when we identify a role we wanna to apply to, we tag it as identified. Then when we're working on the application where we're writing our CV or our cover letter that's specific, we move it to in progress. When we send it off, it's application sent. If they call us back, it's interview, otherwise rejected. And if we get the job, we move it over to offer accepted. Now what's important is that this status is you know, custom to my job search or the one I'm showing to you, but it's really can be adjusted to however you want. So let's say you want to go ahead and add options. You can customize the field type and let's say you have one for offer rejected. Go ahead and add that, save that, and now you have offer rejected as an option in your pipeline. In our case, we're gonna keep it to identified. We just identified that role and then we get the job title. That's what I want in that first field. There we go, copy pasting that. And then we have location. This is another single select field. If you're applying to multiple places, you wanna keep track of the location of the jobs you're applying to. Now, if you don't care, if you're applying to one city, you can go ahead and delete this field. Just click on delete field right here at the bottom and that field will no longer be part of your job search pipeline. So in our case, this one is in Austin. We wanna keep 
the URL as well. Let's go here, copy paste that. And then the company. So this is actually pulling all of the different companies we've applied to which are in our company's table. So this is what we call a linked record. So if I click plus here, I have all the different jobs I've applied to, or the diff different companies I've applied to. So I can link it to Airtable, right? If I go to my company's table and I look at Airtable, you'll see that I've applied to three different jobs, the customer success manager, the one I'm, we're kind of adding in, and a growth associate and product specialist. So linked records let you see the inverse relationship. You can see all the jobs you've applied to at a specific company. And in this situation, you can associate every company to every position. So here we have in our jobs table, all of the information for all of the jobs that we've applied to. So this is one way of looking at our information. However, what would be great is that I would love to be able to see this information based upon the status. So which roles have I identified that I should start thinking about creating a CV or a cover letter? What about those that we've sent in our application? Can we, should we follow up? So those are different ways or things we wanna do on our information. So in Airtable, you can actually view your information in different ways depending on what you want to do. So in this case, let's go to the view panel and say we wanna see our jobs organized by their status, really get this kind of pipeline view. We're gonna to go to our jobs by status, which is a Kanban view. So here we see the role we just apply to under identified. And instead of seeing one row, one record at a time, we're seeing our whole pipeline all at once. So let's imagine we start adding in our CV and our cover letter for that customer role, we can move it to in progress. And let's say I actually wanna add information in this view, I can click on that record. I see that the status has been updated to in progress. And let's go ahead and add in our cover letter. So here we go, I'm adding in our cover letter and I can just drag and drop information directly from this expanded view record. Let's add in our CV as well. There we go. And now that I've kind of put in the information and into our record, we're keeping track. Let's say I've sent it. I can just update that information right here. And now I know that I've sent that application for that specific role. Now next, let's imagine that we wanna keep track of different interview dates. So I can go into the interview schedule and I see that for that product specialist role on Thursday the 27th, I have an interview. Well, let's imagine the customer success role calls us back instantly because we're perfect for this role and lets us know that they want to interview us on Tuesday. We can just update that date, say that our interview is on Tuesday and then update the status to interview and now I see that interview in my calendar view. So really with Airtable, you can keep all of your information around, around your job search perfectly organized exactly the way you want. So now that we understand how Airtable can help us keep organized, let's understand how we can be a little more efficient in adding in information. It's quite a pain to go between the job site, copy paste all that information, make sure we have all that data right. We'd love to be able to do it directly from the page that we're looking at. So in Airtable, there's this app called Web Clipper can, that can do exactly that. So let's go into apps or apps panel, which pulls up all of the different dashboards that we've created. I'm not gonna talk about dashboards here. If you're interested in learning about dashboards, here's a link. But in our case, we're interested in Web Clipper. So it lets you clip content from the web into your base. Let's go ahead and add that. And so this is gonna pull up uh, kind of the configuration of the app. And here it's asking us which fields do we wanna fill in while we're looking at the page. So what I would think is the status, we would set that to identified, the title, the URL, the location, really pretty much everything except CV and cover letter. So let's go ahead and add some fields. I see role from page title. In this case, it wants to pull in from the page title the whole role that's probably not right. Let's put none and we can fill that in manually. Job link from page URL, that's perfect. Cover letter, we're gonna pull in ourselves. Let's see what other fields we want to go ahead and add. So company, definitely we can go ahead and include that. Field status, our default is gonna be identified. 
there we go. What other field can we add in? Location as well. And that's pretty much it, done. So let's open the extension and understand what's going on. So I have it here, add records to job. And let's go ahead and do that one more time and see how quickly we can add a new job. So let's say I'm on the Airtable careers and this product design manager role is really interesting to me. I can go up to the Chrome extension here, add record to jobs. The role is product design manager. The job link has been pre-filled automatically. Company is Airtable. Status has been automatically set to identified and the location is in SF and add the record. And just as easy as that, if I go back to my job search, I see that record is in our, let me close this. I see that record is in our jobs table and it's in our jobs by status right here, product design role. So what that means is actually actually power through. If there's other roles I'm interested in, support engineer, any other job search I'm looking at, I can quickly add those in Airtable to kind of focus in on finding jobs and then in Airtable or anywhere else start going through and applying to them. Okay, so now that we know how Airtable can help us keep organized and how we can easily add new jobs we're interested in directly to our table using Web Clipper, let's look at some automations or reminders we can send ourselves in our process. So for instance, what I'd love is that every morning, you know, I, I need some motivation sometimes. So imagine I wanna be emailed with every application in progress just to be like, hey, here's every role that you should apply to today. And I wanna receive that email every morning at 9 a.m. And so in Airtable, you can create custom automations on top of your Airtable base. So let's go ahead and create a daily email application. So what this is gonna do is every morning at 9 a.m. we receive an email with every single role that's in, in progress reminding us that we should apply today. So in this case, we're gonna create at a scheduled time, that's our trigger. So every 9 a.m. on a weekday, so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, really gonna be persistent with ourselves here. At 9 a.m., done. We wanna go ahead and find these records. So find every record that's in this bucket right here. So the action, this is what, you're, what you want the automation to do. We're gonna go ahead and find records in the jobs table where the status is application in progress. Now, really you can set this to whatever you want. Maybe you wanna remind yourself of application sent so you can follow up whatever status, whatever email records you wanna be reminded about, that's totally fine. So now every morning at 9 a.m., go ahead and find the application in progress records. And what we want to go ahead and do is send ourselves an email. So I'm gonna send myself an email with subject, hey, apply to these jobs today. And what we want in that message is here's every job that is in progress. Go ahead and pull in what we found from step two. And we wanna include those as a list. And we wanna include the role, the status, actually status, we know what this is, location, job link. There we go, insert that. Now it's gonna format that email to say, hey, here's every job that is in progress and a list of those jobs. Let's click done. And finally, let's test this out. So let's go imagine, run a test for every single step. Find records, run test. And now we see that we have those three records, right? These three right here. And let's test an email, run that test. And now if I go to my inbox, I see that email, hey, apply to these jobs today. Got the little, hey, here's every job that is in progress. And we see those three roles that we can again focus on for today. So this is just one example of an automation that you can build. If you wanna learn more about Airtable automations, there's a stream right here that I'm linking to that has everything you need to know to learn Airtable automations. So that's how you can organize and automate your job search. I hope that this was useful. The template is in the description. If you have any questions about how to adapt it, how to use it for your particular use case, let me know in the comments. I'm always happy to help. So with that, best of luck in your job search.